published, 11.08 EDT, the 6th of April 2018, updated, 4.33 EDT, the 7th of April 2018 A hero taxi driver today revealed how he desperately tried to save Eric Bristow's life after the darts legend collapsed, Ricky Nicole, 32 who trained in first aid and CPR when his children were born, was picking up a fare from the Pullman Hotel near the Liverpool Echo Arena when he saw a man collapse near the car park. The father of three immediately stopped his cab to help, and was joined by an off-duty nurse, and together they tried to save the former darts player, who had collapsed after suffering a heart attack, before paramedics arrived. Taxi driver Ricky Nicole desperately tried to save the life of Eric Bristow. Wright, Indiana 2014, after the darts legend collapsed the darts legend, pictured on Bullseye in 1986, had been tweeting predictions for last night's Premier League matchups Bristow, pictured on the set of the iconic TV show Bullseye with host Jim Bowen, who also passed away this year Bobby George, left, left. Looks on in 1982 as teammate Bristow, right, left, demonstrates his throwing style which saw him win five world championships and the Win Mao World Masters trophy after, as he is, right, having defeated Keith Deller in 1984 Eric Bristow during his time in the jungle in Australia for the 2012 season of I'm a Celebrity he told the Liverpool Echo. There was a man on the floor, not breathing and clearly in a bad way. His friend was panicking and I knew someone needed to take control of the situation, so I stepped in, I told his friend to call the ambulance, as I started CPR. I didn't even realize it was Eric Bristow until his friend told me. It's a moment that will stay with me for the rest of my life, I did the best I could, but it wasn't enough, I'm devastated. Phil Taylor said today that he felt the world has lost a legend following the death of Bristow at the age of 60 who had been attending a corporate event in Liverpool ahead of the Premier League fixture at the Echo Arena. The Professional Darts Corporation announced his death midway through the night's play, with fans breaking into a spontaneous rendition of There's Only One Eric Bristow. Rod Studd stopped commentating out of respect. Peter Wright was on stage last night in Liverpool when the news broke, playing against Daryl Gurney, at the end of the match, which ended in a draw. Wright broke down in tears, pictured, as Gurney pointed to the heavens with his fist clenched a fan holds up a crafty cockney t-shirt which has been signed, by the great man, reading, best wishes, Eric Bristow Professional Darts Corporation Chairman Barry Hearn led the tributes last night, calling Bristow, pictured, a huge character Bristow, pictured here representing England, is seen in action at the Orchie. He died yesterday aged 60 after a heart attack. Darts superstar Bristow pictured here in 1989. He died yesterday after suffering a heart attack in Liverpool. Bristow, pictured left during the filming of Star Family Challenge in 1984, and right holding his arrows and a pint of Guinness. Five time world champion Bristow acted as mentor for Taylor, who beat the crafty Cockney to win his first world crown in 1990 before going on to become the greatest player in the game. Bristow celebrates clinching the Win My World Masters trophy in 1984 after beating Keith Deller, who described Bristow as one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. The power took to Twitter this morning to pay his own tribute to the man who was the biggest name in darts throughout the 1980s and marked the beginning of the sports television boom. Words cannot express how sad and shocked I am to hear the terrible news about Eric's passing a huge influence on my career and a larger than life character the world has lost a legend. R.I.P. pal number 16, wrote the 57-year-old Taylor. Taylor retired following his defeat in the 2018 PDC World Championship final, when Rob Cross beat him 7-2 at Alexandra Palace in North London on New Year's Day to lift the title for the first time, the new world champion, 27, reflected on the impact Bristow had on the generation looking to succeed him. The sport of darts owes him everything. He made it the huge success it is today, Cross wrote on Twitter. He was the first superstar of darts, an amazing player but also a massive character, one of my biggest inspirations.
he'll be sorely missed. Keith Della beat Bristow in the 1983 BDO World Championship final in what was one of the tournament's biggest shocks. He also later worked with Bristow closely at Sky Sports and said, I am devastated, me and Eric were together all the time. Two time world champion Michael Van Gogh when tweeted, just heard the latest horrible news that Eric Bristow has passed away. My thoughts are with his family at this sad time. True legend in the game. Hashtag Ripperick Hashtag legend Bristow in Cannock, Staffordshire, in 2013, left, and with Bullseye host Jim Bowen, who also died this year, in 1985, right. Bristow in a pre-Premier League darts charity match against Liverpool FC hero Jan Molby back in February 2012 fans were left in tears as they chanted Bristow's name in unison as placards were held aloft reading. Eric Bristow legend Eric Bristow of England poses with a dartboard, left, during the PDC World Darts Championships in Perfleet in Essex, in 1999. And right he is. Seen with the Embassy World Professional Darts Championship trophy after winning in Stoke-on-Trent in 1985 date of birth, April 25th, 1957 World Championships, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1986 World Masters winner, 1977, 1979, 1981, 1983. 1984 career earnings, pound 333,926 awarded MBE in 1989 fellow Dutchman Raymond van Barneveld wrote on Twitter, he was Dutch he meant so much to me, cannot believe it. My thoughts go out to his wife and family. One of Dart's first superstar players, Bristow won his five titles in the British Darts organization dominating the sport between 1980 and 1986. His first title, a 5-3 defeat of Bobby George, marked the start of his dynasty. Bisto was part of the Breakaway Group which formed the Breakaway World Darts Council in 1993, which eventually went on to become the phenomenon which is the lucrative PDC circuit of today. The influence of the Englishman stretched across all forms of the game. Andy Fordham, BDO World Champion in 2004, tweeted, Can't believe my hero has gone my thoughts are with his family R.I.P. Rich also finished fourth in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here in 2012 and moved into broadcasting with Sky Sports, combining commentary duties with working as a spotter, plotting the checkouts for the players that viewers see on their screens. Eric the Crafty Cockney Bristow in action at the press launch of the Budweiser UK Open Darts Championship at the Georgian in October 2003 in London Bristow taking part in the Farm Foods 83rd British Par 3 Championship in Burskwell, West Midlands, back in July 2016 Eric Bristow attends the funeral of Jockey Wilson at Gercaldi Crematorium in April 2012 in Gercaldi, Scotland Sid Waddell the legendary darts commentator, interviews Bristow prior to the second round matches in the PDC Skull World Darts Championships at the Circus Tavern, Perfleet, Essex, back in 2012 Bristow rests with his head in his hands as he lies in a hammock while on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here in 2012 the darts legend, who died aged 60, takes off his shirt in the jungle with a cigarette hanging from his mouth in 2012 Bristow's time with the broadcaster ended in 2016 after a series of tweets relating to the Barry Bennell abuse scandal. He later apologized for his remarks. Barry Hearn, chairman of the Professional Darts Corporation, said, Eric will always be a legend in the world of darts and British sport. He was a tremendous player and a huge character and even after his retirement fans would travel for miles to meet him and see him play. Eric was never afraid of controversy, but he spoke as he found and was honest and straightforward, which is what people admired about him. The PDC said Bristow was arguably the sport's first superstar player. Eric Bristow the crafty cockney who won the heart of darts fans everywhere Eric Bristow was just 11 when his father bought him a dartboard and, with it, a ticket to a life he could only have dreamed of. Bristow, 
who died on Thursday after a heart attack, went on to become a five-time world champion, a household name beyond the Orchi and an unlikely reality television star in his later years but might easily have pursued a different path. Born on April 25, 1957 to Plastro George and Telephonist Pamela, he grew up in Stoke Newington and found himself attracted to the area's more roguish elements. Eric Brissow celebrates on stage at the Embassy World Darts in Frimley Green, Essex, back in 1992 inches retirement he cheerfully admitted to some low-level gang crime in his youth, car theft and burglaries, was given the cane on his third day at Hackney Grammar School and admitted carrying a claw hammer in his trousers in case of trouble. That such exploits became a hazy memory rather than a way of life owed much to his mastery of the arrows. George Bristow, who believed there was a sport for everyone, exposed his son to golf, snooker and pool before he struck gold with darts. By 14 Eric was an active member of a local team and by 15 he was making more from tournament prize money than he was from his first paying job as proofreader for an advertising agency. Bristow's technique, pinky finger outstretched in the manner of a refined tea party, initially marked him out for mockery though it never lasted long as he outflanked all comers. Eric Bristow throws water over his head, left, after he beats John Lowe during the showdown match at the Circus Tavern on November 21, 2004 in Perfleet, Essex, and right on his way to winning the World Masters Darts Championships in 1983 at 30. He had done it all, a quintet of world crowns between 1980 and 1986, countless other trophies and trinkets, an MBE on the way and a heavy dose of mainstream popularity, fed by his regular triumphant appearances on the small screen. Throughout his rivalries with Jockey Wilson and John Lowe he lived up, and played up, to his nickname the Crafty Cockney, a sobriquet he lifted from a bar he frequented in Santa Monica. Having spent most of his twenties as the world's number one player the only way was down and a long battle with dartitis, an inability to release the arrow and a near cousin of golf's yips, ensured it would not be an easy ride. He found relief in his personal life, marrying wife Jane in 1989 and becoming father to Louise and James over the next four years. His family later grew to include a half-brother, Kevin whose existence had been a well-kept secret until he was 45. Despite being a founder member of the Breakaway PDC, World Darts Council, in 1993, he was no longer an elite performer, a semi-final run in the 1997 PDC World Championship a stirring but isolated return to form. Bristow, who was regarded as a darts icon by his peers, enjoys a cup of tea for I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here in 2012 he was beaten on the day by Phil the Power Taylor, whom he had first met as a gifted young player in his adopted home of Stoke. Taylor benefited from the older man's financial support, name recognition and mentorship in his early years, long before becoming the star he is today. In nurturing the most decorated champion in the sports, even losing to him in as he landed his first world crown in 1990, Bristow's already distinguished CV gains added legacy. Bristow transitioned comfortably into life away from competitive darts, working for Sky Television as both commentator and spotter, working the exhibition and autobiography circuit before being cast in ratings hit I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. The Australian outback was a change from his usual holiday haunts of Tenerife and Las Vegas but he charmed viewers sufficiently to finish fourth in the show, striking up an unlikely bond with made in Chelsea's Hugo Taylor along the way. The luster of his public persona was dulled somewhat in 2016 by an ill-advised tweet relating the sex abuse scandal in football, an episode for which he apologized but still cost him his Sky job.